Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration work on the image that is here on our screen. We have some very nice faces and their outfits are fantastic in terms of how clear they are, but the issues are glaring and obvious. The main one being that they are surrounded by torn paper. They also are off to the right hand side of the frame, so I'd like to have them better centered. Only a few little blemish marks, but I think that they will definitely benefit from some colorizing as well. So with the help of AI, we'll get a few of those things taken care of. But first, let's do something that's going to be very satisfying. And here, I'm not going to bring it up to the bottom and completely crop out this damaged area. I want to keep as many pixels as I can. Now, in terms of centering them, I'm going to bring it in from the right hand side so that his face is centered with this guide line that's here. That should help things. And at the top I want to leave as much headroom as possible, but I'm going to bring it down so that this guide line is on line with her eye. And I think that those things should help the composition, which I think they have. Great. So the rest of the torn paper we need to take care of, and I'm going to do that with the spot healing to start. And I'll just go across the top here like so. And this chunk. Boom. Now at the bottom, we'll try the spot healing. If that doesn't work, we'll try the remove tool. Let's see, that actually did a very nice job. Let's undo that. Redo. I think that that looks fairly seamless. So I'll just speed up the process while I go through here and take care of some of the very small blemishes. There, so th like I said, there were only a few issues to take care of, but they are gone now. This is looking great. So I want to get to colorizing now. The first thing that I'm going to do though is get rid of the color information that is currently here by changing it to a grayscale mode. Then I'm going to change it back to RGB so that we're going to keep track of things. And now I'm going to save them as a PNG. I'm going to call this one. And let's go over here to palette FM. We'll upload the image. And then it's going to generate different color palettes and I'm going to select a few of them here that have given me nice results in the past. Ambient, Historic, and Vintage Charm. So we'll see how these treat the background and also their hair and clothing. That looks quite nice. This one, I don't care so much for the tinting, but this could be a winner. Vintage Charm. Let's see what we have here on our base palette. More blue, and I feel like the blue is really overdone. The background is distracting. So here, that looks quite natural. Their skin tones are great. The background is nice enough. Let's see, again, the ambient historic. Not a significant difference. Let's just have one more look. I think that I'm going to look at the skin tone specifically. They kind of pop a little bit more here. So let's download this image. And this image is going to be a smaller resolution than our the image that we've been working with. This image is only 471 by 531 pixels. That isn't very big. So I'm going to copy the image and paste it here on top of our higher res version. And I'm going to go ahead and transform it so that we take it up to that corner down to this corner and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal down to color and what that's going to do is color the image based on our layer that we just pasted on there but it's not holding on to the lower resolution fantastic so I think that we have our completed image considering where we started with mostly torn paper I think that we've done our couple some justice. Um, I really do like how it turned out. The colors are quite nice. And so is the overall complexion, the hair, and the quality of their outfits is really fantastic.
So if you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you next time.